friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I track calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I shopped at two stores this week and I'm excited to share with you everything I picked up. So if you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend calories and macros. This is how I lost 90 pounds last year and I'm almost just there to hitting 140 pounds lost total. I also offer coaching for accountability and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you just want to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So here's my grocery haul for the week. I shopped at both Sprouts and Walmart. What you don't see is a case of Diet Coke and some Gatorade Zero. I grabbed some popcorn. They had them two for seven at Sprouts. And then when I went to Walmart, I saw that they were $3. So actually a little bit cheaper at Walmart. But this is, as you know, our favorite popcorn. So I got the Lesser Evil Himalayan Pink Salt and then the Lesser Evil Himalayan Gold. This one has butter. This one's my favorite, but I think this one is Troy's favorite. So I just got a bag of each. I went ahead and picked up one more Good Culture Cottage Cheese. I have a full one in my fridge, but I eat cottage cheese almost every single day. So I go through it rather quickly. Two of the Siggy's yogurt. This is just the vanilla 4%. These were on sale for $1.16 a piece. They don't expire for a few more days, so I'll definitely be able to eat them before they expire. And then the Siggy's plain Greek yogurt was on sale as well. This one has really good ingredients and 19 grams of protein. I like to mix my Clean Simple Eats protein powder in with the non-fat Greek yogurt. It is such a good high protein snack or dessert. And then they had buy one, get one half off of their Simply Organic Ranch Dip Mix. These have really good ingredients and make just a really good dip for vegetables. I also picked up some more dried mango from the bulk section. This is one of my favorite snacks to have. I love fresh fruit, but sometimes dried fruit just is a little bit different. So I picked some of that up. And then a big, huge thing of the shredded cooked, ready to go chicken. This is all white meat, so it's zero points on WW. And I like it because it's ready to go. I need it for a recipe, and then I like to have it on hand for snacks and quick, easy meals. And then lots of produce, that's my favorite thing to pick up at Sprout. So I have some organic blueberries, a spaghetti squash. This is for a dinner recipe. Of course, mini cucumbers. We're almost out of the ones that I bought last week. And then I decided to pick up this big thing, a cantaloupe, because it was on sale for only $3. And I did get the pineapple last week and it lasted almost a full week. So I'm going to have some cantaloupe later today and then that should definitely last us until we can finish it up. I needed bananas for a recipe and then I like to have them on hand for ice cream in my Ninja and protein shakes, a couple of oranges for a recipe. And then lastly, some asparagus. I'm going to make asparagus as part of my lunch meal prep. And then moving over to Walmart, I grabbed two gallons of milk. And then I also picked up the Fairlife milk for myself. This is what I like to use in my protein shakes and smoothies, or really anytime I need milk, I just go for Fairlife because it has lots of protein. I did grab some Oreo Thins. This is for my meal prep. I'm really excited to share with you guys the recipes I'm making in Monday's meal prep. So stay tuned for that after the grocery haul. And then I saw that they had the Alani Vanilla Fit Shakes. These were on sale for $2 a piece, which is actually cheaper than if you buy them by the case. So I grabbed a couple. I like to have a wide variety of protein shakes on hand for my protein coffee. I'm going to make sloppy joes this next week. So I picked up some hamburger buns. Troy asked for refills on his favorite cereals and they are the best price at Walmart. So I grabbed the family size of the Kashi toasted berry crisp and then the fiber one cereal. I needed white chocolate chips for my meal prep. So I grabbed the lilies. I was going to get baked believe, but they were about the same price as lilies and Lily's actually has 
better ingredients and better macros, so I picked up those. And then a big can of Manwich, of course, for Sloppy Joes. And then I decided to grab a couple of Oikos protein yogurts, just for those days that I just need that little bit of extra protein. So these have 20 grams. So I have a peach, and then I was gonna get a strawberry, but decided on a mixed berry. Some shallots for a recipe, and I really just like having shallots on hand. They're really good in eggs. And then last but not least, I decided to grab some peach mango tea water enhancers as the weather gets warmer. Iced tea just sounds really good, and it's supposed to be in the 90s this week. So peach iced tea it is. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So I thought I'd show you guys these super cute cupcakes. There's a lady in our community that has a bakery and I grabbed these for Easter. It's a dozen of them. They were $18 for a dozen and I did six strawberry, six vanilla. They're so so cute. I had her divide them into two separate boxes because I'm going to give half a dozen to my in-laws for Easter and then half of a dozen for Troy and I. I just thought these were so cute and just a great way to support a small business. So here's what's on my menu for the week. Today, Saturday, always out for dinner. Easter Sunday tomorrow. Monday, I'm going to do chicken Alfredo stuffed spaghetti squash. We love spaghetti squash. So I'm so excited for this recipe. You'll actually see it in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, we have a little onlooker. Hi, baby. And then Tuesday is leftovers. Wednesday, I'm doing sloppy joes. Thursday's leftovers. Friday's leftovers. That way we can eat up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm super excited for this. For breakfast, I'm doing a protein baked oatmeal. I've been craving oatmeal, but really baked oatmeal. So I'm excited for that. Lunch, I'm going to be making orange glazed salmon and a vegetable. And then for a sweet treat, I'm making Oreo protein balls, actually with Oreo. So, so excited for that as well. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Sprouts and from Walmart. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a grocery haul every Saturday. And again, I upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. I hope you have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!